I'm Marquis Scruggs, and today with me I have John Violet. John is the treasurer of the city of Belmont in California. John, what motivated you to get into politics? Well, when you say get into politics, I guess it goes back many years ago when our daughter was, uh, I think, in first grade, and we had a new superintendent uh, uh, in the school district, and he had a number of priorities. And uh, Anyway, I got involved in one of the citizens' advisory committees, that led to being asked to run for the school board. I did. I served on the board for eight years. Afterwards, I uh, went on to the city's finance commission for 10 years, and then nine years ago, ran for and was elected as the city treasurer. So you mentioned um, being on the board of education. Can you describe your experience? Sure. Uh, it was an interesting time. Uh, there were a number of issues. Uh, it's very interesting. Uh, over the eight years that I was on, on the school board, you can divide it up into two-year segments. And the first two years were very challenging as there had been a legal issue that had gone up and down the court system. And uh, I got a call the day after I was elected uh, from the superintendent spending 10 seconds congratulating me in the next 10 minutes saying, I need to get to, uh, up to speed on this litigation. And as the time went on, uh, we were able to get away from the, we got the litigation solved and we started working on educational issues and the growing needs of the district. So being the treasurer of the city of Belmont in mm -hmm. California, can you describe your role in the city? Sure. Um, as the city treasurer, I'm, like I said, I'm one of uh, seven elected officials. Uh, the five council members uh, set the policy for the city. The city clerk and myself are administrative in function. I work with the finance department. Uh, as the city treasurer, I'm responsible for making sure that the monies are received on a timely basis for the city, that those monies that are not needed immediately are invested, that the bills that are, the city has to pay are properly documented and verified before payments are made, and then monitoring those investments, although you know to make sure that we, while we can't necessarily get the greatest return, making sure that the principal is always returned. And that's very important. It's a criti It's very critical. Uh, we've uh, during the financial crisis uh, of 2008, 2009, uh, some of our surrounding cities had monies invested elsewhere, and unfortunately, they lost some of the money because of the financial crisis. So, so you're a trusted man in Belmont. Well, <laughs> that's what the public elects me to do: is to oversee. The monies, and it's the monies really that the community provides through either property taxes, sales tax revenues, um, or hotel taxes, or other sources of funds that come into the city. And, and so they want to make sure that that money that comes in from the variety of the taxes or fees that they pay is there to provide the services that they expect from the city. So I'm guessing the people of Belmont approve of your services because this is your third elected term, am I correct? Well, that's correct. Uh, this is my, my third term. Um, I was just uh, re-elected in no, uh, this past November. Um, I did not have a challenger, so I, it's kind of, uh, I, maybe nobody else wanted to step up and do the job. I don't know. But it's something I enjoy. And, and like I said earlier, it, it, I look at it as it's a way of my providing back to the community because we've lived here for over 40 years. Uh, our daughter was raised here. We uh, enjoy the life here. And it's just kind of a small way of paying back to the, uh, the community uh, and making sure that the community remains what attracted us to it 40 years ago. So being in California with the budget that the state faces, um, can you tell me one issue that maybe the city of Belmont Faces. The biggest issue that faces Belmont, and I think faces all cities, is the revenue, uh, the steady stream of revenue. And uh, because of the fact that your revenues are tied to property tax revenues, to sales tax revenues, to uh, hotel uh, uh, tax issues, that money, you know, depending on the economic times, it, that money can be, you know, it rises or it falls. And yet at the same time, you have the needs of fire, police, uh, public uh, works and uh, park and recs, those all require a steady outflow. So it, that revenue flow is probably a big issue. Thank you. I want to thank you for your time, John, and I wish you great success as the city of Belmont Treasure. Thank you very much. Thank you. All right.